on the breakfast club i know they know the difference superstar all right, Shannon Sharp fans defend him after viral video of him hopping out the car and leads to more speculation of his sexuality. Man, stop, man. That's what, they, what? but his fans did come to his, <laughs> but y'all can't really get on him like that because he had two hip replacements. So if he leaned over to the side a little bit more I'm like stupid. a bitch, it's because his hips were was, was replaced. <laughs> stupid, Don't do all that now. <laughs> Jamie Foxx claims he will tell the full story of his health scare last year. Okay, well, we'll be here waiting. All right, so. Dylon from Making a Band says Dave Chappelle's skit ruined his career. Dylon, I do not know how to pronounce his last name, from Making a Band, did an interview on We Are Flatbush. And um, during the conversation, he claimed that Dave Chappelle's skit making fun of him ruined his music career. Now, that, that was back in 2004, but he's still hurt by this. Dave Chappelle said the top five rappers are Dylon, 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 Dylon. But this is something that I didn't say at all. But right after, anytime I send my music to DJs, they say, oh, that's the, um, the that David Chappelle made fun of. Now, I'm good on that. Not only that, but every promoter says, nah, we're not booking him. So now I have a newborn and the fridge is empty. No one is calling me. Everyone is <laughs> laughing. At that time, no one picking up their phone. Not a one label. That joke took that over. Joke, that joke burned your career. The joke actually burned it. He sound like Safari. You know, no, so literally sound just <laughs> like, like Safari. Safari. Yo. You know what's interesting about that though? What's I wasn't. That? I would have thought that uh, what Dave did immortalized him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whenever you hear, soon even when you hear the name Dylon, you gotta say it four more times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that would do that now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was it back then. It probably it probably have a different effect on Dylon now. He'd probably get, he'd probably be on Tamron Hall. Good morning, America. If that if that, if that came out <laughs> no, no, now, right. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> But, but that, back then, she right. No, nah. I remember him back then saying that that blew him up though. I remember that. I, I remember, remember that. I remember a conversation. I don't or I heard, I heard him talking somewhere uh -huh. saying that it got him more hosting appearances. Okay, but, but people, people were offering him labels. Did he sign the Akon at one point? But not. I don't know. But, but I don't know. But probably not for his music. Now music is his passion. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And DJ Envy, let me ask mm -hmm. you this. Yes, man. If if a nigga called you and was like, if Dylan called you, like you know. I, I, let me pop out to your party or whatever like that, and, and you only rendition of his music that you have is play number play number two. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> I rip and I rhyme. I rhyme and I rip. This is the way the Dylan spits. Would you play his music? No. Would you exactly? No. That was so, hard to me. That was not hard. Shut up. That sounds like he ripping on any beat. How you turn <laughs> down as far as yeah, yeah. How, yo, he, that was an adaption. He cut off his breath for you. <laughs> I'm running out of breath. <laughs> like, and you told this man, nah, that ain't that. But, but I think also making it a band. I don't think anybody took him serious. I think everybody took crazy. making it a band I used season to love one. Them. Yeah, I used to love the band. You just like j joking them and laughing no, at them. Yeah. They, had, they had some records. Like what? So you that like... one that um, it was all of them rapping on it. <laughs> they did. They, they had this thing. one. They had this one off the album. It was uh, and Freddie was doing the hook. It was like, why the devil came up with me? Why he knocking at my door? That was tough. And the single they put out. <laughs> you remember the single they put out? No, they, no. And they was doing that. All oh, you need is bad boy this, bad boy that. that was, they, they had a couple records. Hey, shut up. Well, man, y'all, you right. fronting on the band. I'm, the I'm not. I hope all of them jump on you today. Enes, Freddie, Babs, <laughs> Dylon, 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 Sarah. And Dylon. They, had, they, they had some yeah, records. Yeah, they did have some heavy hitters, but Dave Chappelle skit definitely that, that, uh, that sketch bad, overshadowed the, the hell out of the that The skit group. was bigger than their whole, than the whole season. Absolutely. Oh, no, I, I agree with that. But that's we can't act like the band, uh, making the band was wasn't classic TV. It was classic Come TV. Come on, stop. But I think it hurt them as a group, as an artist. I don't think people took them serious as they should because some of them were nice. Enes was nice. Some of them rappers yeah, and singers were, were nice. But and Sarah was nice too. Bad, she bad was nice, one. but I just don't think people took them serious. And Chopper, what? Chopper, yeah, Chopper yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about Chopper. Yeah. Yeah. Chopper. See, that's crazy. You forgot about him because Dave Chappelle overshadowed everything. Chopper but shot a gun one time and listen. Truck of mine. Chris Brown so could lose his home from Popeye's debt. <laughs> it's being reported that Chris Brown has to settle $1.7 million debt tied to a Popeye's franchise investment that he made. Uh, Chris Brown invested into two Popeye's locations, but didn't hold up his end of the investment deal, apparently. So the reports say that Chris Brown has exactly 30 days to pay off the debt. And if he don't pay by the deadline, his assets could be taken um, to pay the debt. Now, the assets are his wages, 
money. Any property could be taken without further warning from the court. Like, they can just take that from him. And Chris Brown hasn't commented on the matter yet, but he did post that he will be releasing dates for his upcoming tour today. Mm -hmm. So we definitely going to be going to see him. We don't know if all that money is going to Popeyes or not or the bank. But yeah, that is by far one of the most niggardly stories I ever heard in my life. I'm sorry, Popeyes <laughs> about chicken. Talk about Popeyes chicken? Yes, yeah. Popeyes chicken. And two weeks ago, it was Ruffles. He getting into it with all all the food companies, Ruffles? y'all. Remember? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's probably a civil suit, and, and one of his business his partners back then is, is mm. suing him for this, but. He'll go to court. They're not going to take his house. Popeyes is not going to take. He's not going to lose his house with some chicken, guys. That's crazy. <laughs> First of all, happen. it's not about chicken. <laughs> it's not going to That's happen. That's crazy. Y'all, y'all, y'all know, y'all, y'all is I. nigging the story up. It's not, y'all making <laughs> That's the That's the tease you gave us. have to do. That's what you said. Popeyes right. chicken and nigga biscuits is taking Chris Brown out. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> all right. Well, that is just with the mess. Yes. Let's get to the mix. Let's go. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.